The first feature we want to show you today is uh, the integration with Instagram. So you can add your Instagram account to um, to Picto by um, using this plus button. This brings up this window where you can um, type your credentials. This is a standard Instagram uh, connection window. Once um, the connection is established, as you can see, the um, the images of this account I, are, are retrieved. And um, we have a few um, options to control the, the display of, of those images. Uh, let's zoom a little bit. Um, uh, first of all, you, you can see that the, the likes are displayed here, and this is controlled through this uh, new option here, where you can, you can decide to hide um, these, uh, these tags. Um, you'll notice also that we've added uh, some convenience um, actions here to show all tags or hide all tags, uh, which is actually quite, uh, quite convenient. So here in, in this Instagram window, I can, um, I can see my likes. I can also uh, see information about uh, the instance. So for example, um, this specific uh, image here is, uh, is a post on Instagram, but um, it also exists somewhere else, as you can see from, uh, from the, uh, the little badge at the top. So I can double click here and I will find the uh, original of this image in uh, another catalog which is uh, which is in my in my picture library in in that case an apple photo catalog the same is true for some other images for which uh, uh, the um, the instance uh, has gathered both the instagram version and and the original in the original version as you can see in that example, in that specific example, the, um, there is another version on Instagram that has not uh, been uh, attached to any, any version in, in Apple Photos. Um, so I can decide here, for example, to uh, merge those, uh, those views um, to ensure that everything is, uh, is inside the same instant, in case it doesn't pick it up. Of course, Instagram is, is a source like any other source, so I can um, I can view it in, in panorama. Here I have only a few images, so uh, the uh, the view is not extremely relevant, but you, you can see it picks up the, the various categories like architecture, wildlife, uh, nature, etc. So these images are, are analyzed as any other images. You can, when you right click on, on an image, you can view it online on Instagram. So this menu replaces the edit in uh, menu that um, uh, that you would have for a, a standard source like Lightroom or Capture One where it would open the catalog. But obviously here I cannot open a, a catalog uh, uh, app so I can view the image online on Instagram. So this, this is just bringing the, the standard view on, on that particular image where you can see uh, more information like uh, uh, the various uh, uh, comments, etc. If I open the, uh, the left hand side panel, I will have, uh, uh, of course, if I have geolocalization information about that image, uh, it will display, be displayed here. And we also uh, grab some of the uh, metadata that exists on Instagram. One thing to notice is that the uh, exif is not populated because there is no metadata on Instagram uh, about the, the the specifics of how the image was taken and, and what kind of uh, camera or, or whatever. Also, the capture date is actually not the date of the, the real image. It's just not available. So we display the, the date at which it was posted. But um, the description is, uh, is the description that, you, that you'll find um, on, the, on the Instagram post itself. So it will also be picked up when you, when you look for something. Um, in the search button. 
one other thing that's interesting in uh, uh, and that's possible now in in uh, with this Instagram view is that, that you have uh, uh, of course a map. So I have only a few images, but as you can see, um, those images are geolocalized and, and they they are now placed on on the picture map. The images themselves are, are downloaded on um, locally, so you can, um, if I just pick one image here, you can show the master image in the finder and you'll see that this uh, this image is, is the preview coming from Instagram and it has been added in your Picto uh, root folder uh, inside a folder called uh, uh, Clouds Instagram, and here is, is a code that, that represents the actual uh, connected user. So those images, they, they will live here. That's, uh, that's about it for, um, for Instagram. Um, as you can see, there, there is a um, you have plenty of information that, that is available and you'll notice as well that um, this uh, this source behaves like any other source in terms of being updated um, uh, and, and reacting to real-time events so for example if you uh, if you have likes on, on images or if you have uh, new images being published on, on your account um, you, you will get the, the standard uh, information about uh, a notification and you, you you will be able to update that uh, um, that source uh, incrementally so just for the new things or for the modification for example when when the, when the number of likes uh, change you, you will you will see them uh, uh, immediately that's it for instagram and uh, let's move to the next feature This version of uh, Picto brings some new feature um, with regard to Capture One integration. And uh, more specifically, we, um, we are now able to react more dynamically to changes that uh, occur in, uh, in Capture One when you modify specific metadata for an image. So let's try it out and let's open um, Capture One for this catalog. And specifically for for this image, as you can see, it's a five star image. Uh, I'm showing here all the tags, so there there are no additional tags except that uh, those five stars. So if I change those um, those stars, obviously I want that to be reflected in in Picto. For that to work, uh, first of all, you need to make sure that in your settings you you have activated uh, full synchronization for your XMP files. This is uh, how a picto will uh, pick up uh, changes that occur when, whenever you, you modify something on an image. Um, so let's let's click to uh, to another image or let's just quick capture one. As you can see, the um, there is this little uh, icon next to this catalog, so I can click on it. And now the image is a three star with a red dot. You can obviously um, also do those changes while Picto is not running. So let's uh, open capture one. I'm going to quit Picto. Um, I'm going to change the ratings of those two images. Bring this to green yellow and I'm going also to edit the text for that specific image so I'm going to change the uh, creator and let's just some uh, some metadata here so Pigno is not running I'm going to quit.
Now, there is one thing that um, we do when we when we stop Picto is we don't immediately look for changes because we don't want to um, uh, to slow down the, uh, the the first experience when you when you log log in. So you have to actually move to another window and and bring the application back in front in order for uh, for the incremental updates to be uh, to be checked upon. So here I have my my flag, um, and I'm going to to click on it. So I, I do get those updated uh, stars and um, and dots, of course, and I also get the uh, change in the in the creator for both of these files. So we pick up the information much more uh, efficiently now. And it's also true for variants. If you have uh, uh, variants for a specific image, uh, we will pick up the changes in all the versions of uh, of the variant, not just the uh, the main uh, the main version, the main variant, um, which is something that that was happening in in previous uh, releases of Picto. So much better synchronization with Capture One uh, in this release. There is another new feature which we want to demonstrate and that is uh, linked to search. In previous versions of Picto, if you would type something in, in the search bar, like a text, it would only allow you to uh, pick up um, some of the uh, items that it has recognized. You could not just use that text to search for uh, any any text uh, in, in the system uh, and use that text as a substring, for example. So here, for example, I'm, I'm um, constrained to uh, pick up one of those items. I can't just search for Sony. Um, what we've added is uh, is the ability to go beyond that limitation and, and use that search all button to search for all the uh, text that contains that particular string within a specific uh, scope. So for example, here I could search for all my Sony lenses by clicking on the search all button. And this would just then uh, remind me that I'm looking for Sony in the lens name, but uh, I, I don't specify any specific lens. Um, it's also very convenient when you are looking for uh, some text that uh, belongs to um, the file name, for example, if you have structured your your file names or your your folder path to have some specific strings in it, you can now search for them using the the search uh, all button. It's also true for um, smart albums. Uh, we have added the contains and does not contain operator in uh, string type uh, fields. For example, you can search for uh, a creator that contains a uh, these two letters, for example, and it will find it here. So this is new and uh, it, it um, extends the possibility of search within Picto. Uh, 